It's time for another what's in the box video. I made a purchase from Criterion Collection. Here's what I got coming up next. All right, here's another shameless show off of what I bought. It's kind of ridiculous, but a lot of people love this and love to get ideas from it. I actually bought at the 50% off sale from Barnes and Noble, a bunch of Criterion discs on my vacation about a month ago. I ordered them online. I actually totally forget what's in these packages. I have a box and a couple other packages here. So I'm gonna show those to you. I did do, go on a spending street. This channel did pretty well in the last couple of months. And so I used the channel budget to uh, buy a library. Part of the, the deal here is I buy a library so that I can give you videos to watch on these movies. So here's what I bought. I actually picked these up, in, these three movies I'm gonna show you in person. Uh, War of the Worlds. Uh, the 50s World of the Worlds. I like this better than the Spielberg version. I still am not that entertained by it, but it's quite interesting and of its time that the imperialists get invaded by the ultimate imperialists, the aliens. And what do they do about it? The Atomic Age stuff in this. I'm sure the Blu-ray edition of this looks fantastic. I'm going to put this on a big screen, a big screen I have access to and see what it looks like. I'll probably like a lot better on that thing. Speaking of 50 science fiction movies, yeah, I don't own this, but I had to get it. It's the original Godzilla. Uh, Honda made this movie. It's fantastic. Obviously, it's spurned a gigantic franchise, no pun intended, that keeps going forever. So here it is. And then I found this. I pick up all the Satyajit Rai movies that Criterion puts out because I absolutely love his work, love his directing, fascinating 20, mid 20th century artistic voice. And so they had Devi. I think that's how you pronounce it, maybe not. A movie I have seen part of. I started to watch this on Criterion Channel, but they had it in the like the worst possible edition. It was like 480p. It looked terrible. So I was delighted to see they have a Blu-ray of it. I don't know much about this movie. It claims that it's about fanaticism and free will and subversively overthrowing modern orthodoxies and patriarchal power structures in India. I don't know if that's true or not. I'll have my own judgment about it, but I'm sure this is a very thoughtful, humanistic movie from Satyajit Rai, who always made great movies. All right, so now we're going to get to my packages. I'll open these and talk while I do so. They sent me three different uh, packages, I, for whatever reason, Barnes & Noble did. And so, oh, this is a very, uh, okay, Tunes of Glory, a movie that is thoughtful, wistful, Maybe not accessible to everybody, but I buy all, or I want to buy all the Alec Guinness movies I can. One of my favorite actors. I think this is a 1960 movie, around that point in time, about a Scottish military guy who's going by the way. I actually should read the back of this, just to make sure, but I've seen this several years ago. He's a lifetime military man. He expects respect and loyalty, but doesn't get it. Alec Guinness is fantastic, so I had to get Tunes of Glory. I have seen this, but... I will rewatch it. All right, another package here. I think I know what this one is. If it's what I think it is, I'm going to go crazy because I love it. I'm going to love it. Oh, no, it's not what I think it is. <laughs> but it is a movie, all that jazz. I actually have not seen this movie. It's it's a, uh, an error I wanted to rectify for a long time. <laughs> How could I not like this movie? At least the subject matter looks awesome. The right time period, 1979. I like uh, things from that time period usually. Bob Fosse, choreographer, director, Roy Scheider's in it. I actually don't know much of what it's about. I think a lot of you like this movie, so I finally got it, and we'll watch it, and maybe do a video on it. Who knows? All right, now it's time for my big box, which may take me a second to open, uh, but yeah, big splurge this time, because physical media, really important in my opinion. I just like owning them, first of all, and then I can do whatever I want to them, including using, using them in videos. But we just never know when the movies that are streaming online will disappear and not come back. I mean, who knows? We're not in control of them, but we are in control of our discs. So, yeah, I can afford some things. So, Kira Kurosawa's Dreams. There you go. Very fascinating, uh, very fascinating movie. 1980, right? No, 1990. Can't really see. Uh, so, Kurosawa, one of his last, I think this is the last one, right? But there it is, The Master, Absolute Master. I had to have that one. Um, I have not seen this. Will I like it? I'm like hit or miss on this director entirely. Wes Anderson, The Life Aquatic. Why have I not seen this? Possibly because the first couple of Anderson movies annoyed me. And I, way back when they came out, didn't like them that much. I sort of ignored him for a while, then picked back up. And the last couple of movies I've seen from him, French Dispatch, Asteroid City, I have respected at least. 
So I'm going to try this as Bill Murray. I'm sure it's quirky. It feels elite. It feels like it's a New Yorker article. I'm sure that's what it is. I'm going to try to find the best in this. So I'll try it out. But I think that's worth having. I'm sure Wes Anderson's interesting to say the least. Oh, I had a bunch of people tell me to get this. Flowers of Shanghai. I've not seen it. I think this is a Hong Kong oriented movie. Well, I can't even read the back. Uh, but I know that this is oh, highly acclaimed and beloved. I should read the back here because it would tell me a lot. An intoxicating, time-bending experience. Oh, well, that, does that mean this done by Christopher Nolan? <laughs> no, but I'll try this out and see if I like it. Um, this one I, I'm really interested in because I absolutely love all forms of jazz. I especially love, I like Dexter Gordon a lot, who stars in this movie. Round Midnight, which I was told was the great jazz movie. I, I read that Marlon Brando wrote to Dexter Gordon and like praised his performance as one of the greats he's ever seen or something like that. So I'll have to check this out. Dexter Gordon's Go, Go! Exclamation mark. Or listen to that album. It's fantastic. There's a bunch of them that he's got that I, that I love. So I've got to try this one out. I've not seen it. And then here's one for the family. Here's one that can be watched basically by anybody uh, charade. Like, who wouldn't love this? Cary Grant, Audrey Hepburn, fantastic. Now, in my order, I, I ordered, I know I did this. I pre-ordered it, and I'm disappointed it's not here. Orson Welles' The Trial. I have not seen The Trial in a decent form. I've seen it in the, like, with Devi, the worst possible uh, sort of resolution. And so I am very excited that Criterion is putting out The Trial, which is a fantastic movie, in my opinion, by Orson Welles, made in the 1960s about the Franz Kafka novel, unfinished novel, and Anthony Perkins stars in it. But Welles is so good in that. I mean, everything he does is good, but The Trial is, in my opinion, it's one of his two or three bests. So I did get that, but it's not here yet. What did you think of this haul? Do you have any recommendations for us? Any of these movies good or not good? Let us know your opinions. What did you get if you got anything from, from the Criterion 50% off sale, which happens sometimes during the year, either at Barnes & Noble or on Criterion's own website? Let us know. Please subscribe to this channel for more great content. Thank you. Have a great day.